This morning has been a comedy of errors. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And I have here something that may not be for all of you. And I'll explain that in a second. But first, let me tell you, I was going to unbox this and do all of that stuff for you. My microphone did not connect properly, and so everything I shot was dead. Okay, but... I can, I can show you, as we're talking, I can show you some of the unboxing here as, as I'm talking. So you'll, it's not a complete waste, but it's, it's a waste nonetheless. Uh, it's just the way my morning is going so far. Okay, so this is the Roborock S8 Ultra Pro. I think I called it the right thing. If not, I'm going to put its name down here so that you can see it. This is a robotic vacuum and mop for your home. It's not for everybody. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's really, really expensive. I think it's a little overpriced. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, this is a vacuum and a mop, a wet mop. It's, now listen, don't, don't click off. Okay, at least not until you hear me out. Hear me out first. Then if you want to go away, go away. But listen, I'm going to tell you the price. and Don't click off until I explain something to you. This normally sells for $1,500. I bought it during their anniversary sale for $1,100. That tells me that it's overpriced. If you can drop the price $400 for your anniversary sale... I think you can drop the price on the everyday sale. So um, I, I think it's a little overpriced. But by all metrics, this thing rocks. I guess that's why they call it the Robo Rock because um, everybody who has looked at one of these, everything I've read, everything I've seen, says this thing is the, the best out there. So what is overpriced? Well... I know guys who have dirt bikes, and their dirt bikes are $5,000, $10,000, and they think it was worth every penny of it. Overpriced is, is very strongly connected to you and your lifestyle. What is the value of an item to you? For me, the main area of my home that I live in, is all tile. The doorway, the hallway, the bathroom, the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, it's all tile. And we have a herd of dogs. You've seen some of my dogs. There's, I don't know if you can see her underneath some of my trash. There, there's pickles. I don't know if you can see back over there. There's Gabby. They're, they're everywhere. I got dogs everywhere. And they come in and out of their dog door. They got their little dirty feet and they just... The, the floor is always a constant battle for us. And um, especially if it rains, these are chihuahuas. They're like, we're not going out in the rain to go potty. We're just going to pee on the floor. We'll, we'll drown out there. We're not going out. We refuse. So the floors are a constant battle for us. And to have a robotic vacuum that will go around and keep our floors vacuumed and mopped that's a pretty big deal to me, and it makes $1,100 a lot easier to, to, to bear. It still may not be what you want, but this is their top-of-the-line vacuum. They make other models, okay? If it kicks butt on this one, it'll probably kick butt on the other one. So I'm going to show you my Roborock uh, Pro, and you can decide if this is for you or whatever, and you can go from there. So let's start by talking about the base station, this giant thing. This is where the magic happens. And um, look, before you commit to buying one of these things, you need to know that you have a place to put this. And so I made my wife decide, where is this going to go? What is going to be the schedule for the robot to run? 
Because if you don't have a place to go, and you have to have access to the top of it, if you don't have that, this is a waste of your time and money. So um, where is this behemoth going to go? And your robot vacuum has to have access to this. So you have to have that thought out. But it, once you got it thought out and you order it, this is what you get. This is the base unit. And right here we have a little compartment and inside of it is a vacuum cleaner bag because when the robot docks down in here, it connects, it charges, and it empties the, the uh, dirt chamber where the vacuum sucks up all the dirt and puts it into these bags so you don't have to change it all the time. So that's what that is. This right here is a chamber for clean water. You put clean floor solution in here. All right, and then it just sits right down in here. And when the Robo Rock docks, it refills the liquid that is in the robot. This right here is where the dirty water goes. So when it's done mopping your floor, it will empty all the dirty water into this chamber. All right. So your robot comes in, it empties the vacuum, it empties the water chamber, it puts new water in it, and it cleans the mop heads. It's, it's pretty amazing. So that's what this is. You gotta have a place to put it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not small. And the way this is going to work today, I'm going to finish showing you this, and then we're going to uh, go, go off camera. I'm going to read the manuals. I'm going to set the whole thing up, and then I'm going to come back and film it, doing its thing, putting it through its paces, and we'll tell you what we think about it after we've got it up and running. So this is the base station. Here is the robot. Okay, this is your RoboRock robot. Now, of course, we've named it, and we named it Rosie. And if you know why I named it Rosie, put it in the comments down below. You older folks probably know. You younger folks are probably scratching your head, but if you know, put it down below. So we have... Our RoboRock robot. This is a big LiDAR sensor for mapping out your house and figuring out. You can, you can block out zones and say, don't go there. And, you know, it, it figures all this stuff out. It has obstacle avoidance. Um, it knows what a poop looks like, so it won't run over a poop and smear it all over your house. And uh, loads of sensors. Look at this camera here on the front here. Look at that. I have heard tales. Of folks they needed to look at something they weren't home they opened up the app they drove the robot to where they wanted to look and they used this camera to look and see what was going on so it's that's pretty neat but here underneath check this out here is your your mop pad and um, it cleans itself and this is interesting Robo Rock Instead of using um, one of those bristly brushes that gets all the, the fibers and hairs and stuff tangled up in them, they use these rubber brushes. And that way, they're easier to get the stuff off of. So that's a neat little thing. You got your little edge cleaner. You got your really aggressive rubber wheels. Tons of sensors. Um, and yeah, this thing is ready to rock. Um... All it needs is to be set up and get going. Now, like I said, this is expensive. I'm going to put the price down here and their information. All that will be in the, the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to go away. We're going to get this set up, and then we'll come back and take a look at it doing its thing. So um, if you're interested in seeing more about the Robo Rock, don't go away. We'll be right back. So what it wants is it wants to be flat against the wall. It wants to be up against the wall so the power cord 
actually kind of tucks in so that it should not be in its way. What are you calling that? Okay. That way the robot won't push this around. Okay, to prevent corrosion or damage, use only the RoboRock branded floor cleaner in the water tank. So for now, we'll just use water until I get some RoboRock cleaner. Yes, but it's not going to like that power cord back there. And we can try it that way, but it's going to keep trying to push back. Oh. It said to have it flat against the wall. Okay. May, you know what? Maybe, okay, that's what if... I know. Well, that's not... I'm talking about the whole outlet, because that's where the other plug's got to go, too. Oh. So w let's try that. And if we have to, we can put something behind it, like a, a block or something, so it I won't like slide. Target. The robot's got to get in and out.
Okay, so let's wrap this whole thing up. What do I think of the Robo Rock? Okay, because we, we've had it for about a week now. Uh, we've we've done the mapping and we've done automated uh, passes and we've done manual passes. We've we've used a lot of the features, and so you know, time will tell. In a year, I may go. This thing sucks. But right now, I'm going to tell you, this is the best money I've ever spent in my life. Okay, first of all, listen. My wife doesn't like a lot of my home automation stuff. She likes the automated ceiling fan that's right above your head. And she likes the automated blinds. But pretty much she hates everything else. This is, this is from her, not from me. She said, this is the greatest thing we've ever bought, bar none. It was worth every stinking penny. She loves the thing. Okay, first of all, it's doing an amazing job. Uh, where I'm sitting here, I get a clear shot of the floor all the way through the living room and all the way to the slider at the end of the uh, dining room that goes to the backyard. And the way the light sits, I can see the floor and it's beautiful. And that's what my wife said. She said that it's so nice for the floors to look this good all the time. And she's right. It does an amazing job. Now, look, you know, I have a lot of dogs and there's still going to be messes where I'm going to have to call into service my spin mop. Okay. You know, I love my spin mop. Um, I'm not going to run the Robo Rock over a puddle of pee. You know, when it rains, chihuahuas are notorious for not wanting to go outside. So you practically live with a mop in your hand. And I'm not going to run Robo Rock through a big giant puddle of, of urine. Uh, I'm going to mop it up with the, the spin mop and get it all cleaned up. But then afterwards, I can run the Robo Rock over it to give it a final pass and get everything looking nice again. The, it's so fully featured. It's so efficient at what it does. It is absolutely just, it's amazing. And for my wife to like it and not even care that it was 1100 bucks. Uh, did I tell you that? I think I told you that. It's normally like 15. I got it on their anniversary sale for 11. Um, for her to not care about that and, and say that it was worth every stinking penny, that says it all. This thing is awesome. Now, we had a Roomba. We had a Roomba pet vacuum. It was okay. But man, first of all, it was loud as hell. It didn't have any of these features that this thing has. It was still a third of, you know, it was, it was a third of the price of the, the Robo Rock. But this, we're talking the, the top of the top of the top of vacuums versus somewhere down towards the lower end. But this thing at night, we have it go at five minutes after we go to bed, it'll start running down here. We don't hear it because you can set it on a silent mode where it doesn't vacuum as hard or as loud and it, it keeps the sound down. So we have it go then. Then in the morning after the dogs have their breakfast, we have it go and spot clean the kitchen floor where they eat and then it goes into the bathroom where the dog door is because sometimes, you know, they come in with a little drippy wiener or something and, and leave spots and stuff. So we'll have it run through there. Then it stays away. Then at four o'clock in the afternoon, we'll have it do just a vacuum pass just to pick up any little crumbs from their feet or whatever. Um, the thing has been phenomenal. Absolutely wonderful. I can't recommend it enough. If I had more than two thumbs to give it, I would give it Let's pretend these are thumbs, 10 thumbs from me, okay? And probably more than that from Reggie, okay? Highly recommended. I realize still that it's not for everybody, but if, if your lifestyle is the kind that needs something like this, let me tell you, you will not regret the Roborock S8 Ultra Pro. This thing is phenomenal. I love it, I love it, I love it, and I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. 
If you have any questions about this vacuum or about anything in general, just put them down below. I love to hear from you guys. Okay, that's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. It's a beautiful day here in Vegas, and I hope wherever you're at, you're having a phantasmagorically wonderful, beautiful day. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good.